Yo, this video response. <laughs> this is this is kind of funky. This this happens on occasion, I suppose. This is a video response to a video response. I know conception, right? This is a Sandro, 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 El Jean, Jean, El Jean. I don't know how to say. Sandro watches my videos, comments, you know, does his own channel now. He did a video response to my video I had to do about exposing Kira Toriyama and Kishimoto with the, the way that they handled or lack thereof of swordsmanship and swordsmen and how, you know, wasted potential, um, not highlighting characters and just not addressing one of the most basic forms of martial arts, Kinjutsu, the art of the sword. He missed, he missed what I said completely. He missed some points. He said, you know, he respects me, uh, all that good stuff, and I know my stuff, and I'm knowledgeable, but sometimes I'm wrong. Bruh, if you're gonna say that somebody is wrong, which is fine, because we all can be wrong. I'm wrong, everybody's wrong from time to time. You don't gotta tell me I'm always right. I know that I'm not always right. I will admit when I'm wrong. I've come on camera and said when I've been wrong, when others have been right. In fact, I elaborate on what I was thinking at the time, when all the facts weren't on the table. But, if you're going to say that somebody's wrong, you better understand that argument first. Or at least get a general sense. You did not address my argument. In fact, you validated and helped reinforce what it is, my, not only my premise, but helped expand upon what the hell I was actually talking about without even recognizing because you see the argument that I am proposing is not an argument of futility it's not an argument about essentials this needs to happen what it's arguing is the fact that it did not happen and should have happened it didn't need to but it should have see the thing about story writing that people gotta understand when you introduce certain elements Unless you you have a short story, short stories get passes like no other because they're short stories. Short stories can be one page to you know twenty some odd pages, whatever the word count is, right? Short stories are short. That's their essence. They're condensing or they're short uh, a part of a narrative or sh or, or a small narrative. You don't have to go deep into characterization or character development. What I clearly preference was the fact that these were two very long-running series. Not extensively long-running, but nonetheless, they were quite extensively in their length. And still ongoing to a degree. If you want to include Baruto, and if you want to include Dragon Ball Super, which you should. Now, what I was indicating, I didn't go into Bojutsu, which is, you know, with bow staffs and all that, even though you have a character like Whis in, in, in Dragon Ball, who could definitely go into that. Okay, I didn't do that. I asked for swordsmanship also because it's pre-established in the series. You have swordsmen in the damn series. You know this. D don't, you didn't even address my whole point about Yajirobe and Tintin. See, that's what, that's what I'm saying. When you attack an argument, please attack the actual argument in the point somebody's making and refute each of those points. You didn't refute my points. You were talking about the history. Okay, understand something about this. One Piece is a series. If you want to talk about essential, swordsmanship is not essential. They have advanced technology. They have devil fruits. They have hockey. But Oda throws in swordsmanship to fit the power thing. They could have just went with gats, with guns. Okay, which they have. But Oda decided he wanted to fit and combine both of them historical it was kind of an anachronism okay taking out of place and throwing them all together that's uh, a staple of the steampunk genre for example or subgenre if you will of, of sci-fi steampunk is a subgenre of sci-fi usually anyways. now one piece happens to fit that in doesn't need it but it does Tori Cole which I brought up had a top tier swordsman one he ain't been too much but he was top tier in the series Horrible. A series about hunting food, cooking, fighting for food, 
definitely didn't need swordsmen. You had a swordsman. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I get your point about Vinland Saga and Ramon and Kenji based on historical. I get that. Doss. Well, Vagabond is is saying in uh, Ramon and Kenji is shown. I I get your point. But I'll get to that historical point and why it actually favors what I'm saying. I brought a Vin, uh, Vin on Saga, which didn't have to show, but it did. Swordsmanship makes sense. Okay, okay. Um, what, what other series? Uh, someone asked me about Togashi with Swordsmanship. Hunter Hunter in, in Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho or in Hunter Hunter, those are two series that actually get away with not dealing with Swordsmanship. Even though there were Swordsmen, some, you know, Hiei being one of them. In Yu Yu Hakusho, there was never a focus on actually fighting. Understand it. Like, yes, a lot of battles happen, you know, you have the tournaments, the dark tournament and whatnot, the demon took the world tournament, but the focus wasn't on fighting, it just wasn't, that wasn't the focus of the story, just like One Piece, the focus of the story is not on fighting, it's not on combat, so when people complain about the fights, I'm like, dude, fights are like a bonus, the same thing when you have show, the fights aren't the focus, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Sandro definitely won't understand that, Hunter Hunter, Definitely, because they're in some text of swordsmanship. If dude's a swordsman, that's cool. But, you, you know, you have all these crazy men abilities and whatever else. It makes sense that, you know, okay, there isn't any swordsman, whatever. If there are, cool. If they're not, whatever. With Dragon Ball, you're talking about history. Dragon Ball has its own set of history. The fact that you don't have martial artists rocking the swordsman in, in human history... It's using a period. How you had dinosaurs, man? Are you serious? You have aliens. Now, I didn't highlight, which Toriyama kind of does. I didn't ask for more, even though there there is a bit about the Saiyans genetics and fighting style. Same thing with the Namekians. They all, uh, the Kaioshins, the Kais, the Spring Kais, they have their own individual unique fighting styles, even seemingly the guys of destruction. We don't really get into them too much of that. I wasn't asking for that, even though it would be great to see expansions upon that. We sort of see it in the series, but we sort of don't. Each fighter has his own individual style that I can go through. Uh, definitely see that in uh, with the resurrection of F arc, okay? But the thing is, I'm not asking for nothing complicated. I'm asking for one legitimate swordsman in Dragon Ball. And you have two characters already who can fit the bill that don't, and it makes no sense. Yajirobe should have been that dude. He was set up to be the dude, and it's wasted character potential. There's no getting around it. He should at least be on the level of TN in, in Piccolo. I'm not asking him to be overpowered. He can be on a level without being uberly powerful because of key control. Key control on the level of Son Goku before they did the Goku a uh, God key training, him and Vegeta. It makes perfect sense. It's set up. And it makes no sense why Akira Toriyama just has a character set on Sala, especially when you have Yajirobe come back out of nowhere in his Goku Black arc. It makes no sense. Yajirobe should be like the future Yajirobe. If Yajirobe, you have future Gohan be different, how about a future Yajirobe come out of the cut? And help future trunks. No, instead we have Yajirobe running around like a coward. It makes no damn sense. It got, look, it doesn't mean that he can, you know, defeat them, but he can help in the fight with Zomasu and, and Goku Black. And oh yeah, how is it that uh, Master Roshi, Yajirobe, don't know how to fly, but Brother Dale learned how to fly? Go Ten and Trunks learned how to fly. Come on, bro. Then you have future trunks. Who rocks a sword? Casually. This is what I'm talking about. And if you didn't want to use either of those characters, bring a character from the demon. You have an assassin in it. You have a freaking thousand year old assassin. You had an assassin in, in mercenary town. You've had all these fighting styles. Where's the arm so where's the arm martial arts? Martial arts, the art of martial arts. Martial arts is the art of war. Is the art of fighting. Okay? That includes weapons. You're saying, oh, it's just weaponry. No. No, that's not how martial arts work. They're not just weapons. And the fact that they, they only can clumsily use the weapons means they haven't mastered the martial art. Which makes no sense. When you live a life and you ain't mastered that junk, you have 
a series in Maho Senso of Magic Wars. The protagonist is a magician. It's a world of magicians. The protagonist is a swordsman. His brother's a swordsman. They're swordsmen. They learn Kendo. Are you serious? They learn Kendo. He goes in first with, with the magic tool and then even with a regular blade. In a series focused on magicians. In fairy tale. A series that focuses with magic. There are swordsmen. Are you serious? Kishimoto and Naruto, there is no excuse. You can't, if you want to give passes to Toriyama in, in Dragon Ball, alright, by all means, just, just go ahead. But Kishimoto? No. The fact you like, well, there's already, they're dead, Wonder. That's the problem. Where is the next generation? Where's the lone survivor? There's none? No swordsmen in this era? I thought Kakashi was supposed to be the copy, you know. Nobody was rocking. Uchiha Sasuke just happened to rock a sword. You had Mufume. I, that's who I was trying to reference. I could not remember his name. Mufume. One samurai. Who is legit. You had the seven legends. You had to Edo Tensei them. Edo Tensei them. Just to get some legit swordsmen up in this. Might die. One dude. My guy's father. I couldn't remember if it was Might die or, or Kakashi. Uh, you know, Hitaki son, his, his father, you know, him. My dot handles seven, seven legendary swords. That's mad disrespectful. That's mad disrespectful. There's no justification for this wasted potential. And again, like I was saying, 10 10, focus on what I'm saying, Yajirobe, to a lesser degree, future trunks. But 10 10, she should have been a monster. That's what I'm talking I'm arguing for 1010 fans. I'm arguing in favor of 1010. Who I don't even rock with. Who is it? I can't even call a trash character because you wouldn't even address. 1010 should have been a monster with a blade. If you didn't want to get, first of all, all kinds of weapons. But if you didn't want to do that, at least have a rock with a blade, man. Are you serious? How hard is that to understand? Chakra Central, everything will work. Genjutsu, come on, man. 10, 10. You can't tell me 1010 would have been a monster. But no, no, we, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. I don't know what this has come across as a rant. But it makes, it, it, it kind of infuriates me that wasted potential. When you have good, look, I'm the reason I'm criticizing them is because, first of all, you already know if you know what I rock with, Akira Toriyama's legend. And he's writing, I mean, he's wrote in one of the best series in Dragon Ball, but this is a wasted opportunity. And the longer the series goes on, the more, the worse it gets, the more this, like, the more questionable it becomes. Again, I'm not the only one to question this kind of stuff. Kishimoto had a long enough series. You did all this hack stuff, but you couldn't even pull, throw in a proper swordsman or swordswoman? Come on, bro. Again. This isn't anything new. I'm not throwing anything out the cut. This is pre-established. You know swordsmanship exists in both worlds. Don't say there is a history. The history is there. But the fact that it's not capitalized upon makes no sense. Especially in the land of Japan, where they love swordsmen. Swordsmanship is, is a massive focus point, focal point. I didn't call out, you know, Fist of the North Star for not having swordsmen. Post-apocalyptic, you brought post-apocalyptic and Trunks is carrying a blade, which actually makes sense because considering, you know, guns, you know, ammunition and stuff is not easy to come by explosive, carrying a blade makes sense. And Trunks is carrying a blade. Even in the post-apocalyptic world, Trunks is carrying a blade. Like, there, what excuse do you have? The history, the present, and the future all indicate in Dragon Ball that there should be blades, swords machine. The Shinobi world. A world filled with warriors and ninjas. A world filled with samurai. Should have swordsmen. Like that that's swordsmen that who are legit, who are top tier. That makes perfect sense. One piece it makes sense because you have a world of pirates. I can, I can go down the list. When you have series who don't even need swordsmen but have top tier swordsmen anyways it makes no sense for a series that should have swordsmen not to have them. I, I don't know how much, how simpler I can break that down. 
is really very simple. They should. It's not necessary, but they should. They're long running enough. They established it, but they didn't go anywhere. That's why I criticized Kubo for many plot points that went absolutely nowhere. Don't bring in stuff. Teach them all the same way. Don't bring in stuff that go no, goes nowhere. Again, it also comes down to the last point I'll make. Just lazy writing. It's lazy writing. Most manga and authors do it at some point. Oda's known to do that occasionally. You know, even in his fight with, with Lord Crider. Because he wanted to hurry up and get the other stuff a bit of lazy writing. Kishimoto definitely has done a lot of lazy writing. Kubo, we king lazy writing. Okay? Even Mitsutoshi occasionally to speed things a little bit lazy explanations. Dragon Ball with Kirtan Arm. We know he does some lazy writing. Togashi's known for his lazy writing at times. Not just his IAs, but his lazy writing. There's other manga. Hiro Mashima. We know he knows his lazy writing. Easy way out. Not knocking it, but it's lazy writing. Not bringing these swordsmen in, lazy writing. All I'm saying, you can you can bring in Hit, an assassin from Universe 6, but you can't bring in... You can bring in a metal man who breathes lava. You can bring in a dude who's impenetrable to physical damage in Botama, but you can't bring me a swordsman? Come on. You're saying, well, what, all those antagonists, who cares about whether antagonists are swordsmen or not? You even brought up Deborah. What do we see in the Dragon Ball Super manga? Um, Deborah and Trunks went blow for blow with blades. You brought about the sea sword and whatever breaking. Don't get me start again. Don't don't bring up Mr. Gohan. I've I've exposed Mr. Gohan so many times. I don't even want to address that. But yeah, this this video I don't want to get too lengthy. I'm just saying, man, like. To me, it, it's very simple. There should have been some top tier swordsmen, and, it, and it's mad disappointing that there's not. It's really that simple. Alright, y'all, I'm expecting one to like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts, and I'll be out of here.